Sister Rosemary Nyarumbi is a Ugandan nun, nurse, and midwife who, through courage, perseverance, and faith, helped change the face of a nation. Sister Nyarumbi has helped the women and girls of northern Uganda who have endured brutality by Joseph Kony and his Lord's Resistance Army, the LRA. Many were kidnapped and in some cases forced to commit vicious acts of violence against their own family members. Girls as young as 13 were raped, reduced to sex slaves, and impregnated by the rebels. Sister Nyarumbi's story of assisting and empowering her nation is told through Sewing Hope, a documentary about her life and leadership of St. Monica's Girls Tailoring Center. Pros for Africa, a volunteer-led nonprofit organization based in Oklahoma City, is also a proud development partner of St. Monica's and exists because of the generosity of working professionals. St. Monica's is a vocational school in Uganda where psychological support, literacy training, planting crops, and sewing are some of the skills Sister Nyarumbi teaches to restore independence, dignity, and hope to the survivors of Kony and the LRA. In 2002, under Sister Nyarumbi's leadership, St. Monica Girls Tailoring Center in Uganda, their enrollment increased from 31 to over 300, and many of the girls left with permanent jobs. And I personally have been a product of war, and I am trying to help these women to get out of their trauma, to try to get them to become useful members in the society after all the pain they went through. I'm helping them with it, teaching them how to sew, how to cook, and sewing away their own pain, trying to use their own hands to become self-reliant, to support themselves, support their own children. They were kidnapped at their early age, they lost their childhood, they lost education and family. So I felt the best thing I could do is to be able to accompany these people, to help them restore their dignity and really to walk with them and help them also to love their own children. Recently, Sister Nyarumbi attended a book signing at the DePaul Center's Barnes & Noble for her book, also titled Sewing Hope. A film screening and discussion was held later that evening. Items made by the Ugandan girls were for sale, including purses made out of soda pop tops ranging in price from $40 to $150, plus bracelets and rings made out of magazine pages. Purchasing one purse for $150 helps fund an entire year of education for one of the girls. The events were hosted by DePaul School for New Learning, which along with Tengaza University, Nairobi, Kenya, recognized Sister Nyarumbi. This past December, Sister Rosemary Nyarumbi received an honorary doctorate from DePaul University for her dedication and her service to social justice. I'm very proud about it and I'm really feeling that I'm totally connected. This is my new family and knowing that DePaul and Vincent DePaul himself was so much after the neglected, the left, people who are left aside, I find I'm totally aligning my life with that. DePaul's president, Father Dennis Holtschneider, said Sister Nyarumbi's vision and advocacy for this vulnerable population resonate deeply with the legacy of St. Vincent DePaul, who worked on behalf of the poor and marginalized. And officials from DePaul School of New Learning say they're proud to honor Sister Nyarumbi. We have been giving honorary degrees to women, um, women religious in Nairobi and in Africa, as a way, a model for our students there. And Sister Rosemary was nominated and was chosen to be the honorary degree recipient in December 2013. And so I went to that graduation for our students and that's where I met her and found out about the wonderful, phenomenal work that she's doing. During a trip to Uganda earlier this year, former President Bill Clinton and his daughter Chelsea celebrated Sister Nyarumbi's determination and life work. Fear never crippled her efforts during this brave and selfless journey. Work that's inspired by faith. It is really faith one. And secondly, I always say, if I don't start my life with a prayer and my coffee, I have no courage of starting the day. So I need that. Honestly, I need to do that. 
and God gives the courage. That's why I say, if really I was to be killed, it would have meant my work had come to an end. But I was not killed, and I'm sure that for me meant I'm supposed still to do more. It's really very difficult to define hope, but it's something which I would just say, I start living it now. My hope starts now. I'm not going to think of yesterday. There's no chance in the I don't have no money to help the million of my bag. People whom the community has put aside, Sister Rosemary loves them so much. I think what you can do here is love and accept this girl and really work with them. The past will never be recovered, but there is a future. We can still work in hope. For Good Day to Paul, I'm Jennifer Harris.